Friend.tech, like its predecessor, BitClout, has officially failed. Let's dive into this. Welcome back, everyone. That's right. We haven't done a shitcoin episode in a while. I know they're not the uh, the most popular ones, but uh, whatever. I wanted to follow up on this because 11 months ago, I made a clip about Friend.Tech and why this would fail. And in all fairness, I kind of thought it would last a little bit longer. I didn't realize that it would fail before a full year. It actually only took 11 months for this thing to completely fall apart and destroy uh, everybody's money. Who was in it, of course, except for, you know, the, the, the paid marketers at the beginning and the creators, right? The creators. Uh, so yeah, to my surprise, 11 months later, we over the, over the weekend, right? We saw an article, friend.tech team renounces smart contract control after platform growth stalls. So what does that mean? It means we're not making any more money and this is a waste of our time. So we need to hop onto a new project that we can grift noobs with. That, that's really what that means. What exactly happened, right? Well, according to them, um, besides the team revoking their, uh, their control of the smart contract on September 8th, okay, they, there was also early success, but then stagnation uh, because the platform grew really quick, supposedly, then slowed down. Um, I'm going to suggest that that has to do with the paid marketing. And once the paid marketing runs out, there is no real uh, market for this crap. So what happens is, is that it, it falls off a cliff, which I'll show you guys in a second when we take a look at the uh, the weekly chart. Um, but what else went wrong? Uh, apparently, the version two didn't spark any interest, and it was a disappointing airdrop that failed to boost engagement. All right, besides the airdrops, obviously, user activity declined, so no more fees. And then, of course, when there's no more fees, people aren't able to make money anymore. Well, guess what? Uh, no more updates. And there you go. This thing goes to die. But, but, before it dies, before it dies, the friend tech creators, they got to make sure to walk away with their piece, right? And as with all rug pulls, there it is. The creators of friend.tech walked away with $44 million, while the bag holders, well, they got to enjoy this little chart over here. And what you're seeing right here is the daily chart. Okay, this is the daily chart of friend.tech. Every single one of those candles is a daily candle. And of course, it looks like a normal shitcoin versus uh, a shitcoin Bitcoin pair, right? Where it's being compared in Bitcoin. But guess what? That's US dollars, or more specifically, it's Tether. So US dollar peg, okay? And this thing has lost all of its value, okay? Now, I, like I said at the beginning, I did a clip about this about 11 months ago, okay? And I'm just gonna play a short snippet from it uh, because again, I, I think it's really important, right? Many of these grifters try to draw you in with some nuanced technical type of conversations. It makes them seem more knowledgeable and makes it more plausible for us to fall into the trap, okay? And, and that's essentially that's essentially what they did. But you see, in the previous video, this is something I've explained in the past. All of these grifts, they do not require any kind of incredible technical knowledge because it's a scam at the highest level, right? At the highest level of this thing, it is already a scam. It's already a grift. So wasting our time arguing about the technological nuance and the validity is pointless. It's pointless. Let's take a quick watch of this clip. I, I just, I, I wanted to show this last line of the article for the friend tech guide. Okay. That this is right here. I mean, guys, look, I, I know that, I know that some people feel the need that they have to show you all the transactions, who owns the wallet to what and all this stuff, guys, you, I appreciate that stuff. The majority of people do not understand any of that shit. Okay. And the truth of the matter is, is that all, all of these, all of these shitcoin projects are so easily debunked. You don't need to waste your time with any of that stuff. You just have to look at the way that they sell it. This is at the end of the friend.tech article. 
We have to urge caution as Friend.Tech is still very new and has not given its audience the reassurance that it is a safe dap and not a rug pull. So, so guys, look, we're telling you this thing is we're telling you this thing is amazing. We're telling you that you could make a shitload of money, but we're just letting you know. Hasn't doesn't have enough reassurance, and we can't really tell you that it's not going to be a rug pull. So you have it right there. They always like to give these feel-good narratives. Oh, this is an opportunity to help artists. It's an opportunity to help artists. It's an opportunity to spread the word. But in the end, all it really was was an opportunity for the creators of this grift to walk away with $44 million from unsuspecting noobs that did not understand what it was that they thought they were buying. Anyways, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about today. It was really just an update on the uh, the friend.tech. And uh, like I said, um, you know, a lot of these projects that I've previously debunked in a lot of older clips, um, yeah, I, I, I keep track of them. And whenever I see the news come around for them again, I'm not saying that I'm always going to be right, but this is one of those situations which unfortunately was really clear from a thousand miles away. And it was all just based on understanding that the previous projects that these people were involved in were also grifts, okay? So you're not gonna have a person go from being a scammer multiple times to all of a sudden being legitimate. That They're just always gonna be, a, it's always gonna be a grift and they're always just gonna be looking for exit liquidity. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I'll catch you tomorrow.